வணக்கம் அப்ளைங் அ பிஓபி ஆன் த ஹேண்ட் இஸ் சம்திங் தட் ஆல் சர்ஜன்ஸ் ஆர் டு நோ பிகாஸ் இட் கேன் கம் இன் ஹேண்டி அட் எனி டைம் வை அட் ஆல் டு வி அப்ளை பிஓபி ஆன் த ஹேண்ட் இஸ் இட் ஓன்லி ஃபார் ஃப்ராக்சர்ஸ் ஆர் எனிதிங் எல்ஸ் அண்ட் வாட் சார்ட் ஆஃப் பிஓபி டு வி நீட் டு அப்ளை ஆன் த வோலார் சைட் ஆஃப் த ஹேண்ட் ஆர் ஆஃப் த டார்சல் சைட் ஆஃப் த ஹேண்ட் அண்ட் இன் வாட் பொசிஷன் ஆஃப் த ஜாயின்ஸ் ஷுட் த பிஓபி பி அப்ளைட் ஹேவிங் டிசைடட் அ பிஓபி இஸ் டு பி அப்ளைட் and having decided the position in which the hand is to be placed within the pop how can it be applied in such a way that it is neat and strong and at the same time does not cause any problem to the hand or the fingers we shall see all this and more in this video on how to apply a pop to start off let us see what are the advantages in applying a pop and why we need to apply a pop The most important effect of applying a POP is that it prevents movements and when movements are prevented the healing of the structures is better edema control is obtained and there is good pain relief as there are no movements at all and all these factors are very important for the well-being of the patient and complete recovery so which are the situations where you need to apply a POP on the hand the first is diagnosed fractures when you have diagnosed some fracture the pop should be applied either as a temporary procedure before the definitive treatment is undertaken or the pop itself can be the treatment for the fracture second is when there is a tendon injury like in this example where you can see the flexor tendons have been cut for all the three fingers and the fingers are kept in a position of extension so the pop must be applied in these sort of patients just as we had discussed either as a temporary procedure till the definitive tendon repair is done or after repair of the tendons the third situation is when there is a major injury on the hand or there is a skin loss mainly the pop application here is for pain relief if the finger injury involves more than 3 fingers it is ideal to apply a pop to reduce the edema and to reduce the pain when there are burns on the hand application of a pop is very important because it controls the edema and when there is a blunt injury of the hand even if there is no fracture as seen in this example the pop application will help control the edema and lastly when there is an injury to the finger or thumb or hand and there is a vascular problem as in this example where you can see that the thumb has been partially amputated and it looks very pale so a pop needs to be applied before the definitive treatment is undertaken to prevent the shearing of the blood vessel which has been injured inside having understood why we need to apply a pop and what are the situations in which we need to apply a pop we shall now see what are the different types of pop slab that can be applied on the hand the first is a volar pop this is applied on the volar aspect of the hand and a below elbow volar pop extends up to the middle of the forearm on the flexor aspect a dorsal pop is applied on the dorsal aspect of the hand and a thumb pop is applied just for the thumb and this pop also extends up to the middle of the forearm in children it is ideal to apply an above elbow pop since children would very easily remove a below elbow pop by making vigorous movements of the hand so far we have seen on which side of the hand the pop needs to be applied and what should be the length of the pop but what we have not seen is what should be the position of the hand in which it is going to be immobilized this is very important because it may determine the outcome of the treatment we shall now see what are the different positions in the hand first we shall see the position of ease when there is an injury to the hand the hand is usually held in this position due to the effect of gravity the wrist is in a flexed position and consequently because of the stretching of the extensors and the development of edema on the hand the metacarpophalangeal joints become extended or sometimes even hyperextended and as a result the interphalangeal joints of the fingers become flexed the thumb also stays in an adducted position this position is very detrimental to the function of the hand and should always be avoided by applying a pop the next position to consider is the functional position 
or sometimes known as the glass holding position. The position of the wrist is in minimal extension of about 10 degrees. The metacarpophalangeal joints are kept flexed at around 60 degrees and the interphalangeal joints are kept flexed. The thumb is kept in a position of palmar abduction. This position is a very safe position in which to apply a POP in a case of a major injury to the hand. The other important position of the hand in which it can be placed within the POP safely is the lumbrical position or intrinsic plus position. The difference between this and the functional position is that in the lumbrical position the metacarpophalangeal joints are kept at 90 degrees and the interphalangeal joints are kept extended. The thumb is kept in a position of palmar abduction and the wrist is kept extended at about 30 degrees. It is important to note here that keeping the wrist in either a neutral position or extended position is the best position to immobilize the hand. Having planned our POP and having planned what position we are going to place the hand in, we now need to get the POP ready. But before that, we need to prepare for this and for this we need a basin of lukewarm water, a bandage cutting scissors, a soft roll of 10 cm or 15 cm and in case of a wound a dressing needs to be applied and a roller bandage of 10 cm or 15 cm will be needed and finally the POP roll. This can also be of 10 cm or 15 cm. The 10 cm POP is usually used for the volar POP or a thumb POP and the 15 cm POP is usually used for the dorsal POP. It is important to note that the POP that is being applied should not go around the circumference of the hand or the forearm since we are going to apply a POP slab only. Right, now we are all set to apply the POP slab. We need to now prepare the POP slab on a Macintosh sheet to prevent messing up the table. Roll out the required length. Usually, this required length is measured in spans. One span is usually equal to the length of one palm of the person. But remember, the patient's palm length will differ from the person who is applying the POP. The measurement should be taken from the patient's hand and the POP should be made out. We now pile up the layers of POP one by one over each other for the required length and the required number of layers. Usually, we use about 14 to 16 layers. Now, after making the required length of POP, we cut off the POP sheet. Now, this prepared POP sheet is in layers. This has to be taken as a whole and immersed gently in the basin of water. We must allow all the air bubbles to escape. This will ensure that the water has reached every single part of the POP slab that we are preparing. Now, remove the POP from the water. Gently drain off the excess water and apply over the soft pad or dressings on the hand. If on the volar side, we should allow some movements of the thumb. So, we need to make the palmar area of the POP slab a little narrower. If the POP is being applied on the dorsal side, we make sure that the wrist is kept in neutral position. After doing this, we secure the POP with a dry bandage cloth. We now allow it to set in the position as planned. Since we are planning in this volunteer to show the lumbrical position, we shall keep the metacarpophalangeal joints in flexion and interphalangeal joints in extension. After it has set completely, we must apply another layer of bandage to make it neat. This bandage is secured with a sticking plaster. So now we have understood that immobilization of the hand is a very important step before managing the hand injury and we have seen the method of immobilization using a POP or a plaster of Paris. However, there are other alternatives and other materials like the fiberglass can be used to splint the hand instead of a POP. The advantages of the fiberglass splinting are they set or cure rapidly, they are less messy, they are stronger and much lighter in weight than the POP but they have the disadvantages in that they are a little more expensive than the traditional POP and a little more difficult to mold.